hopefully that's us live. Happy Sunday, my crafty clan. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't seen in the description, today we will be doing the baby to go with the Mama Otter of the Makers subscription pack. Uh, links and everything to that are in the description as always. I'm actually just sitting, felt, excuse me, I can't help fiddling. I'm felting away already. I'm just firming up Mama. Um, yeah, so links are always in the description for this. This is the monthly subscription pack from the makers. So you pay a subscription, you can cancel any time or pause or all the good things. Uh, you pay a subscription and every month they send you out a project. And I'm not sponsored for this. I purchase this because I totally love it. It's great fun and it's something to do together with you guys. So I generally try and do this month's kit with you all on a Sunday. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all having a great week. Let me know if I've actually just been talking to myself here or if we're actually live. Uh, let me know how your week's been, what you've been up to, what you've got planned. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. I would love to say how my week's been, but it, it just vanished. That There was the start of a week and it's Sunday again. I don't know, is anyone else having that? I'm, I'm just sitting here going, it's nearly October. Well, how how did that happen? But apart from that, yeah, working away, staying away from people, eating far too much food, the normal. Ah, we have Steffi in the house. Steffi's wearing the maker's coat today. Um, and Carol, hello. Hi, Pam. Hi, Steffi and all. Hi there, Carol. Good to Good to see you guys. Um, just let me know in the chat if anyone's made their otter <laughs> can't even remember what it is if anyone's made their otter or they're planning to felt along or how you're all up to i have only i've made one pair one parent i'm only going to do the mama just ne well yeah, last week i'm only going to do the mama and then we'll move on to the baby this week but yeah so that's that's what we did last week and if you missed it you can check it in the replay when you're done here but let's 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 do the thing look oh you need more light on this subject folks we need to we need to see what's going on yeah i need more better lights okay so we'll put pressure we'll put mama off to the side here um and we have the instructions for the baby so gonna make a start and i also have in the, all these kits now we have the little templates so I hopefully get an idea and get it to the right size. So we want the country sheep, which I believe was this one for the head of the baby. Oh, it's titchy. So let's see how much that's going to need. Uh, there's but there's instructions for how you've got to divvy this up and everything in the box. But I've had my wool sitting for a week and got it all muddled up. So I'm just breaking off a bit and fitting it to the template, squishing it down as far as it could it will go and go in yep that'll pretty much fit the template and then i'm just gonna felt away so get my head out of shot um create the head is a similar way to the adult but the baby's head is slightly more squat and rounded okay gotcha so we'll just work on that um so i've rolled it up as best I can. There's, the instructions are <laughs> for the adult are there. I'm just, because this is so titchy and I'd rolled it into about the right shape already, I'm just diving straight in. So everyone follow the actual instructions. <laughs> um, oh, chat's already moving fast. Cool. Um, yeah, it's definitely lovely weather here, but freezing cold wind. Yeah, I have. Right, everyone make a note. Be ashamed. My heating is on for the first time today. If you can hear a slight gurgling noise, that's my radiators. So that's the first time I've stuck the heating on. But the sun's out and it's blooming freezing. I think I'm tired too, so that doesn't help. So it just makes it feel worse. So yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a wee change. Um, Karen um, from Australia. It's 1am here. Oh goodness, yes. Um, late, late night for sure. Well, you you take it easy. Um, Carol finished her her what creatures are we making? Um, otters. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wanting to call them other things. I went with the European one since 
found out they don't really <laughs> float on their backs, but they look cute even either way. Yeah, I. They don't have to. They don't have to be totally accurate to what the the species is, but I think when we think of otter, we think of lying on their back with the baby on their tummy. It is kind of adorable. So Carol's finished them. <laughs> Steffi's. Oh my. OMG, Karen. One a.m. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. There's a question for the chat. Are you a night owl or a early bird? I certainly, see, I am not even thinking of going to bed till past 1am most of the time. I'm most definitely a night owl, which helps because I work with a lot of Americans and Australians and all sorts of things. So I'm around to speak to them. <laughs> so, yeah, that certainly helps. But, oh, definitely not. Definitely not a morning person. Where possible, I like to lie in. Oh, Karen, I know, I can't sleep. Oh, fair enough. Um, well, I can think of worse things to do than just jumping, jumping on YouTube for a bit of inspiration. And, yeah, for everyone that sells online and everything, how are your preparations for Christmas going? That's certainly going to be the big one. Um, I'm... I'm planning some videos on this but just finding the time to get around to doing them but just planning on the kind of things that we we should be working towards just now um it's a little late for some things even I always want to do some Halloween stuff and I'm always too late um we might well no we're at the end of the month so we'll be getting our new kit soon but I think we might we might felt something a little bit spooky at some point if I can think of something spooky to do just so I get an excuse to do some Halloween-y felting. Um. <laughs> Carol, early bird with an afternoon slump and bed before midnight. Yeah, afternoon slump for me too. I am pretty sure after I come off this stream, I will make my tea, I will eat my tea, and I will nap. If I didn't nap, I would probably go to bed at a sensible time, but I like my after tea nap. So I'm a, I'm a lion. Lions sleep after meals. <laughs> Oh wow, Steffi, I'm in bed by 9.30 and asleep by 10, wow, up by 5, 5.30am, wow, Go I'm going to early morning CrossFit classes, I am impressed, yeah, I don't, something's wrong if I see that time of the morning and I generally see that time of the morning from the other direction, <laughs> it means I can't get to sleep if I'm seeing 5 in the morning, but wow, yeah, okay. There have been some beautiful sunrises, and it would be nice to get up and see it. But ooh, we're getting getting on for the time of year that there <laughs> sun sun won't be up for quite a bit. What time is sunrise just now? I'm sure it's dark at five in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we have a baby head. Um, let's see how that fits the template because I was getting distracted. Guys, will you look at that? I've done not that. That was a bit of luck. I'd love to say it was skill. That was a bit of luck. Okay, take a wisp of the fox sheep. This is the white stuff to lighten each cheek. I love this. We're going to make his cheeks a little little white. I was going to say rosy, but it's not rosy. It's white. So, yeah, we're doing leaving a little, a little bit down for the nose. I'm going to go for a single needle to get some detail. Cute. Or I hope mine turns out cute. Um, uh, Steffi, yes, you've just finished your Witches and Wizards. I did indeed see them. They were very awesome. I um, have been planning to make Wizards again this year. We did a Felt Along Wizard probably a couple of years ago, and that was so much fun. What I might do is... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a Santa because it's too late for for witches and wizards now. I'm gonna do a Santa this year. I've not done a Santa for years. So, and I've been working on. I don't have any of them with me, but I've been working on faces with open mouths and things. And I just the other night I was like, a laughing Santa. That would be so cool. So a Santa with an open mouth. If anyone fancies seeing that, um, I will give that a go trying to decide if that would be a live or if it's something i want to do as a recorded video because the open mouth might go wrong and need a couple of takes so hey that could be fun um but yeah because i don't 
think I've seen a, I've seen a smiling Santa. I don't think I've seen a laughing one yet, and I think that would be that would be a whole bunch of fun. Um, Elf Steffi, it's definitely dark at five, and even it's six thirty a.m. now. Oh yeah, sunrise just before seven thirty. Yeah, there's something wrong if I'm up before the sun. That that's that's not right at all. Oh, I am getting distracted in the chat and not making this very even. We're going to have one lopsided baby. Excuse my head keeping coming in shut. I'm trying to pay attention. Right, let's lift him. Let's lift him to me. We are a little dark today. Um... Lisa, hello. It's been a while since you caught a live. Oh yes, we've missed you. Um, feel like I've missed so much. Well, there's always replays, but I know it's not the same. I I have to confess, I always say all oh, this replays, but whenever I'm on YouTube, if I see something and it says streamed, and I think I don't really want to watch the replay. I want to watch the lives. I like it live. <laughs> Oh, Steffi, oh, we'll send you our Santa kit. Ours is not laughing. Nothing to laugh about. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Santa will find things to laugh about. He's, he's a positive chap for sure. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'd love a, love a Santa kit. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Carol, ho, 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 we'll give it a go. I like the poetry there. <laughs> uh, and Karen love to see a Santa. Laughing Santa sounds awesome. That's cool. So okay, so we'll maybe we'll work with the maker's kit and I'll maybe see if I can do a little extra as well to do a to do a laughing face. I've got to see if it works. Um as I say I was working oh it was probably about a year ago. I was working on le learning how to do faces, specifically like the lips and opening the mouth and doing doing all of that. Um and it's it's really cool but it's also super difficult because you've got that line where it just really can go creepy in a second like it can look adorable 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 creepy <laughs> so i'll do that um and then yes both both the makers and and me we both have a video on how to make curls um yeah, you did do a video on it too. Yeah, we both have a video on how to make curls. Cause you can buy you can buy curls, and I'm sure the makers have lovely curls um, of of sheep's wool. But I found in lots of places I struggled to get curls, maybe in the colours I wanted or just in the quality I wanted. So I figured out a method, and then it turned out the makers the makers helped me as well to to make sure that it was it was working good and they've got a video on it too um but there's a method to make your own curls i don't have any i don't no i don't have any sitting about just now but um super easy and you can make curls from any tops you've got lying about so you get them in any color without having to dye them and ruin them so yeah if you're wanting to make a santa or something then you definitely need to make your own curl santa has to be curly i don't know why Yeah. Wendy made it again two weeks in a row. Yay! Your your registration card stamped. <laughs> um oh, Steffi, our Santa kit will be packed this week so you'll get a virgin kit. Ooh. Um <laughs> Diana, you could adapt the maker's kit and open his mouth to make him laugh. Is that allowed, Steffi? <laughs> Is that <laughs> Have you not seen? <laughs> Have you not seen that I I open these kits and I go, this is awesome, right? I'm going to make it half the size, or I'm going to do something. I do try and follow along, but I get I'm bad at following rules. Um, but yeah, we could do that, and then that means you've got some other options if I can get it to work. But we have the maker's kit and the way to do it with the kit, and then hopefully I will have a little a little different way if it works. We'll see. <laughs> I don't want to make promises, but yeah, okay, cool. Santa, a Santa collaboration, sort of. <laughs> that sounds fun. Okay, I think we are done so far with the head. We need the dark stuff. Ooh, catching on all my needles. Uh, dark stuff to make a body. Don't you move wool about when you've got needles sitting right in front of it. I think that'll be. Oops, 
sorry, I'm off screen again. It's a tiny bit more than that. Baby should be a little bit chunky. There we go. Body. Let's felt that. <coughs> I think I'm using the right colours. I I lost track. I had <laughs> I had some meetings this week and had to move all my wool again that I carefully separated. I should put it back in the box, um, but I don't. I leave it out and it was all carefully separated and then I had to move it out of the way. So yeah, I'm not sure that I'm reasonably sure I'm using the right stuff. Maybe, probably. Ah, and now I've got fibres up my nose. That's annoying. Sticking to my lipstick. <laughs> Skywolf, hello there. How are you going? Um, Wendy, you made some little Santas last year. I did our art festival and had one not done to show what they looked like before hair and clothing. And <laughs> a guy bought the a guy bought the naked one. That's weird. <laughs> Oh, Skywolf, you just got a phone stand so you can do some tutorials. Awesome! That's so cool. That's that's a new string to your bow and a little a little exciting to do that. Um, as as I say all the time, tutorials are such a good idea for every crafty people. Um, it 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 takes a bit to takes a bit to get up the confidence to get out there and to build up an audience and stuff, but it's totally worth it. Um, and it's it's really nice now that we have because um, when I started YouTube live streams didn't exist so the only tutorials were like like old fashioned proper scripted worked out tutorials um, but now we can do these which I think is, is kind of a lot better because I'm still getting grief on some of my very old tutorials because what I'm doing here where I'm going off screen and everything you guys can shout and go Pam get back on the show us what you're doing or if you don't figure out something that I'm doing you could ask me whereas in a video if I was recording it and I didn't notice I'd gone off screen then I could be making something and yeah suddenly I realized that five hours worth of video is either totally ruined or I've got to put it up on YouTube and people will shout at me <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, he carried your little naked Santa around in his pocket and you got several customers because of him. Oh, that's adorable. That is so cute. <laughs> I love the idea of that. And a happy customer is your best ad advertisement. Advertisement or advertisement? <sighs> See, can't do words. And Carol, exactly. More fun and interactive. I remember the first the first time I did a live stream with people who were actually involved, I, I did a few live streams that nobody turned up to. Um, <laughs> but you expect that's what happens, you have to build up slowly. Um, but yeah, the first live stream I did with people felting along with me, and at the end of it, when they shared what they'd made at the same time as I was making, it was like, wow. <laughs> it would just totally blew me away. I wasn't just talking to myself. It was completely cool. <laughs> yeah, so there's 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 all of that. It's your instant feedback and fun and there's been so many times that we've kind of changed a little bit what we're doing because of feedback or daft ideas that everybody's had. Um, yeah, so. I love it. It's a completely different thing. Only a few years old that this kind of thing exists, I suppose. It came about at the right time, didn't it? <laughs> Although, I know the Zoom meetings are really cool as well, and I'll probably get to doing one of them at some point where you can actually felt with each other. Irina, hello there. Oh, good to see you. For for those who don't know, Irina's one of, one of the other angels in E-Rank. Um, she helps she helps out in E-Rank as well, so you'll probably, if if anyone's not over there, um, you'll meet her if you're over there. Um, that's for anyone who's selling on Etsy, mainly. Wendy, you called him your naked Santa too. I'm super interested to see what this naked Santa looks like. I've got visions. <laughs> but sounds so weird that people wanted that, but it's cute. Um, 
Skywolf, you're going to work on your posable lemur while I'm watching. Hope that's okay. Absolutely. Oh, we have lots of people who are working on lots. I say lots. I'm not. I'm not like massive. Um, but we have we have people who work on lots of different projects. You don't. You don't have to be a filter. I know. I sit and watch other people's art videos on things that I'm never going to do like our wonderful Lily Tree who comes in here often she does her wire wrapped jewellery and I know I know I'm not going to do that so <laughs> um, I just watch her in awe and go that's lovely that looks fantastic that looks so easy and I know from <laughs> if you've seen any videos of me with an armature what a mess I make of just making a simple armature into something. I so struggle with that. So the idea of doing wire wrap jewellery. <laughs> um, Carol, oh cool, I followed your bat armature yesterday to make a bat for my gothic mad sister's birthday. Oh thank you so much. I was so pleased how the bat armature turned out. Um, yeah, oddly, bats and bats and dragons that because right normal normal people who are making tutorials like the makers they research they work hard they make decent tutorials <laughs> they've actually made their thing a few times and they know it's going to work when i've done mine i just literally wing it in front of the camera and then it works and i'm so chuffed when other people follow it and their versions of what i made come out not just cool but they come out like recognizable as similar to what I made if that makes sense um so yay gothic mad sister's birthday for the bat I love that oh Wendy you think I have a picture and I'll try and post one on Facebook oh thank you so much I would love that Diana done my baby otter so working on a seal fantastic I did oh, I did some dolphin about three or four years ago and I never got round to filming them but it was, it was, I think it was about four years ago, I went over to the Isle of Arran um, on Scotland, on Sc well I'm on Scotland, but the Isle of Arran and while we were driving round, um, my mum was in the car she was visiting at the time and she, she called out, she was like, look, look, I'm, like, I'm on a tiny single track road, I can't look. Um, so, so we pulled over somewhere relatively safe and it was a whole... Is it a pod of dolphins? Am I making that up? There's a whole pod of dolphins leaping in and out of the water and stuff. It was far away, but thankfully I had my my fancier camera and I had the big zoom lens on it. Now it's not like your several th you know cameras that cost the price of car type camera, but it was good enough that I was able to get some shots of them. And I came home and I felted dolphins because they're just so awesome. Um, and yes, seals, super cute too. I have not felted a seal yet. I'll have to do a one. Uh, Steffi's currently working on curled up dogs and cats as little thank yous for somebody. Oh, lovely. I do love the curled up sleepy dogs and cats. I curled up sleepy all animals. There's There's something special about them. I'm still planning to do a sleepy dragon at one time. Diana, you saw Carol's bat on Zoom yesterday. Fascinating. Want to see him finished. Yeah. Oh, I'm super... Yeah, Carol, if you can pop a picture up, that would be super. Love to see it. I had, I really had fun making the bat. Um, I don't know if I put the story on on YouTube quite so much, but what it was, um, there was Facebook adverts all over the place for a needle-felted bat, and it was absolutely... It was freaking adorable I'm not gonna lie it was beautiful but they were selling it for a ridiculously small price I'm thinking it was somewhere between five and twenty pounds and I looked at it and I was like there is no way an artist that's that good with that amazing photography and everything is charging that price for her bat but people were buying them like crazy and then I discovered the original artist and poor thing she didn't know anything about this someone had stolen her images and was advertised on facebook just to rip people off i don't know if they were even getting anything but they certainly weren't getting her bats because that's not what she charged for them but she was getting hate mail by the thousands 
people saying I've bought this and you've ripped me off and she's like you didn't buy it from me um so she was so stressed she even tried to tried to make them for the people that were contacting her which was really not fair because she'd not got any money for it anyway and she wouldn't have charged that price but I was so mad just with people stealing someone's work and advertising massively to make huge numbers of sales based on something that they clearly didn't have so I wanted to make the bat for a start you know for a start I thought it was a cool project mine isn't nearly as cute as hers but it was a cool project but also I wanted to kind of raise awareness to that kind of thing and very much I see it all the time I don't know if you guys have seen on Facebook just now they're they're showing the beautiful felted hats and they're like selling them for a fiver and I've, I've, I've found the artist that makes those hats and yeah they've just definitely stolen her images and people are sharing this going to everyone wow look at this everyone's going to order one of these great hats and you're just looking going you're all going to be ripped off that's that person's hats are one of a kind works of art they're not mass produced things um right body um i should have left a bit of fuzzy bit at the end and i knew that um so here we go here's a little bit of wisps <laughs> wisps at the end the baby's body is slightly more chubby than an adult oh should we do that should we do that see how pam's going with getting the sizes it's a little bit littler but I'm happy with that I think this will still work out um so then we want to put the head on a little bit sideways because it's going to be snuggled up against its mummy's belly there we go <coughs> um Kiss my stained glass. Hello there. Sorry, a little bit late. Good to see you. Um, Carol, it was stunning. Very well made. Oh, thank you so much. Mine's a bit of fun. Definitely dog-eared looking. I'm sure it's lovely. Um, I think it's one of those things. Someone with any of the any of the animals, if you're not sure how to make something, if you get the armature right by basically googling um, what the skeleton of whatever animal it is looks like unless it's a dragon then you just have to wing it and boy I've got dragons behind me of course but if you get the skeleton and make an armature of the same proportions as the skeleton when you put the fleece on it's going to look alright <laughs> it's mainly going to look alright it's getting the it's getting the proportions of the armature if you're using an armature right that really makes it um i think i said did i say last week um but that was the one th making the frog i'd never made frogs before and everything but getting a skeleton it just made it so easy once you've got the shape of the body he just came out perfectly um oh the makers have a seal kit and it's on special offer <laughs> uh, makes three so there's a link there if anyone's interested in making a seal kit making a seal you don't make a seal kit you make a seal from the kit um <laughs> carol has the seal kit waiting for some free time i know tell me about it i seem to i have plans for everything i'm going to do during the day and i don't get half of it done that's really yeah that's really sad <laughs> i've got so many things that i should have been doing and you think you know we're I was going to say we're in lockdown, then I was going to say we're not really in lockdown. We're kind of in lockdown again. So I was going to say all the things I should have been doing because we're in lockdown, but no, but I, don't, I don't seem to have more time. <laughs> um, Diana, yeah, there are some dreadful scams around. If it looks too good to be true, then it usually is. Yes, um, another one was the beautiful baby fox heads ones i think she was the first one lady amora i think i got her on instagram um but they were scamming her and she does beautiful kind of um thinking of the center the naked center in the pocket she does like little kittens and foxes just their heads peeking out your pocket and they are absolutely adorable i mean i didn't get close to being as cute as hers but again they were on sale on facebook oh and i don't know have you guys seen the ads on facebook just now which are 
so much worse. It's supposed to be for lifelike puppy sculpture, sculptures. And and the ad's going, can't believe this isn't a real dog. And it is. A re they're showing a video of a real puppy. And people are going, wow, that looks so real. And you're like, yeah, it is real. <laughs> That's not what you're buying. <laughs> So that's like the worst scam ever going, realistic puppy. No, no, that's that's an actual puppy. What are you selling? It's not the actual puppy. Um, uh, Steffi, can't wait to see Carol's um, seal, I'm guessing. You always add your own personal touch. Very talented. Lovely, yeah. That is the cool, I love seeing, if anyone's not in the Makers Facebook groups, you really should join because it's great fun seeing everybody gets the same kit, they get the same directions, and then they come away with completely different things. Okay, little baby, let's, let's move on a bit. I think that wants to be your tummy, so we'll just turn your head slightly. But I'm fiddling again. Okay, um... That'll be cool. So make the legs and the tail. Um, oh, that's so tiny. That's adorable. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can't see. There we go. Tiny, tiny little paws and tail. So is that? Oh, see, that's too much already. Right, tiny bit for a tail. <laughs> I think I'll go into a single needle for that. Else, I will stab myself. Skywolf, if, if anyone's from the UK, Aldi has dog and cat and Dis Disney princess felting kits. Oh, cool. They did some felting kits a couple of years back. I think I did a cat and there was a flamingo and all sorts of things. And if I remember correctly, they gave you the option to use polystyrene, but it wasn't the only option. They weren't horrific kits. They were pretty good. Um, but a Disney princess felt... <laughs> I'm intrigued how they got a license from Disney for a felting kit for four quid. Um, yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> or if it's even legal. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. But I'll certainly... I'll certainly check it out. Well, I'll dive on the on the website. I'm 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 not really going into shops just now. Um, oh, chat. Uh, kiss my stained glass. Talking of copyright, your friend's daughter was the one that painted the lion with sunglasses on, and they stole that to print on T-shirts. Nothing she could do for the legal fees to take them to court is huge. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that totally sucks. That's, yeah, that's horrible. A lot of the big companies get away with that because, yeah, it is just so expensive. Whereas in the reverse, like, if you rip off Disney, Disney's just like, yep, I'm, I'm having you. No problem. We've got the money. Whereas as, as little guys can be totally ripped off and there is nothing we can do about it. I want his head that way a little bit more, so his tail's gonna come out from here. That is so ditchy. Um, Steffi saw this with the little pet pigs. First, I thought you must be wrong, as you're not allowed to say sell live animals on Facebook. Yeah, they're if you actually click their link and go to their website, you can see their their pictures of things. They some they have pictures of the real live animal they were shown in the video, and then they have pictures of what you're actually getting. But most people, as anyone who sells online knows, most people don't go beyond the first picture. They go, "Oh wow, wonderful!" and then go and buy it for. I mean, it's like twenty quid. Do you really think a fully moving anatomic words? But do you think a fully moving sculpture? that can chew your hand and bounce around like a puppy is going to be 20 pounds. If something like that existed, <laughs> you're going to be thousands. So yeah, sometimes people have to stop being quite so greedy and realize that they're not going to get something of that quality for that money. Uh, 
Oh, Wendy, you don't have a picture of the naked Santa, just the finished one. Well, share the finished ones. I love to love to see the finished ones too. Um, and we'll just have to imagine what's under <laughs> under Santa's robes. Um, oh, Carol, and um, thanks, Steffi, for Steffi's lovely words. Been needle felting for eighteen months. Wow, well done. Um, on and off, and just love it. Yeah, that's. I was going to say fairly new. It's not. It's a year and a half. It's a good time to practice your craft. But yeah, I think mine were still terrible and fluffy and yeah, no good at all at 18 months. Uh, wood's fantastic. You're in Canada. And can I use raw fleece for core wool? Um, I think the makers were probably able to help you more with that one. I... I, depends depends on the fleece I would say yes um, wash it out a little bit but I think the the, lan the high lanolin content does make stuff a bit easier to work with if the fleece is in good quality um, I did make a mistake a couple of years ago there's a beautiful farm down the road from my mum when I was visiting her and they have alpaca that I met. They're gorgeous, wee, friendly boys. Um, and they said they had the fleece. And I could get a bag that was... I, I could choose the the actual the name of the, the alpaca that it came from. Um, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> there was so much work needed to process the fleece. And then I discovered afterwards that really... Grown male alpaca is nowhere near as nice as baby alpaca <laughs> so yeah i should have just left that um but yeah if, what i would do if you can get raw fleeces ask you know, ask or buy get it get a sample get a small amount and try felting it and see how it goes um but yeah i think you know depends on the breed the breed of sheep but i would go with it um Stuff, yeah you get what you pay for sometimes the LD kits get people going and sometimes it disheartens them yeah that's the same with all of them I will say in my opinion the LD kit money wise was far better value than the hobby craft kits even down in price <laughs> the LD kit was way better obviously like the makers kits you're getting a lot better quality stuff but if you want to get started with for like four pounds and you're in a hurry <laughs> and stuff um it really it really isn't bad to get a start but yeah you get you get what you pay for <laughs> i think we, i think we've covered that today with the little dogs and everything but yeah you get what you pay for but it's not the worst so don't i I would certainly say if if you're about like grab a kit and see how it goes four pounds is is nothing and sometimes even just the colors of fleece are handy to have um yeah makers you can use raw fleece for core as long as it's clean enough you wouldn't want it to start festering and smelling lanolin helps it felt down quicker absolutely i've used some of your lanolin rich core and it's lovely and it's so good for your hands too um uh diana yeah buyers must stop being so gullible yeah absolutely no we, we know you're not talking about fleece yeah it's difficult to keep track of a conversation because although this says live and it is kind of live there's about a 10 second lag between um when i say something to when it goes to you so you guys answer me and it comes back and i've forgotten what i was talking about 10 seconds ago <laughs> so it's live but only kind of a bit <laughs> sort of live um I'm making the wee pause here, by the way. I'm not doing a very good job of actually explaining what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just felting and chatting. But then again, if you want good dis dis directions, you've got them in the kit. I'm just, I'm not giving a tutorial. <laughs> I think. Oh no, I was going to say I think my guy's a little too fat, but I don't think he is. I think he's actually, he's he's about as fat. He's getting there. I hope, I hope 
hope he's going to be good. I hope he's going to be cute because he's he's got a mama waiting for him here. Oh, and she she balances on her back. <laughs> she balances. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so pleased with that. That was not done on purpose. That, I was thinking I might have to flatten out her back to get her to balance. She's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for a second, right? I've got some of the, this wool. Um, this is the other. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the wool they've given us for stones. And I just had, had an idea, something I want to, I want to quickly make, <laughs> because they can, because they've given us this lovely colour. So this is just my really fine twist needle because that big thick needle was too stabby. So can anyone guess what I'm felting? <laughs> you probably can. But yeah, stick in the comments. What do you think I'm felting just now? Or have I just gone insane and I'm just randomly stabbing tiny things? <laughs> Let's see if anyone can guess. I bet you probably all can because of what I got all excited about last week. But this is the little pebble to put into the armpit pocket for Mama. So she's got her pebble tucked away. <laughs> I couldn't resist that. Sorry, yes. So so Mama Mama Otter is all ready if she needs to to smash open dinner. <laughs> she's got her armpit pebble. Um Erica, hello there. Glad to see you live. The baby's great. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Uh, Steffi, little cat and dog kits. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, make two of each with all the tools and instructions for £15. That's just under £4 for one project. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, you were right. St um, Diana, stone to put under her arm. And Erica, a little rock. Yep, you guys know me too well. That's exactly what I was making. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. So her little armpit pocket is working perfectly. <laughs> I wonder, apart from obviously kangaroos, but what other animals have pockets? <laughs> pockets to put things in. <laughs> I think I'm making the legs a little bit chunky, but it'll be cute. Um, I can't think, well, obviously anything else in the kangaroo type family will have but does anything else have especially especially i love i love the idea that this is a, a specialist place for a tool they need to keep that's that's just like so cool nature is amazing <laughs> it does the most random things i wonder if we keep like evolving for the next billions of years will there be like a little animal develop a sort of tool bag or something, <laughs> tool belt around itself. I can't think of any others. Wendy, yeah, watched a video of an otter play with a rock across its chest. It was so cute. They are, they are quite adorable when they're bored. They sit and, it's not just for smashing things. They do pat about with it and play with it. It is very adorable. Okay, baby, let's pop your paws on. I haven't turned its head enough because <laughs> I didn't realise where I wanted his belly to be, but it'll still work. Erica, yes, I put that on the makers. The, the video is that. Oh, I must have missed that. I will definitely have to catch it. I, I'm always up for a video of an otter. <laughs> they are adorable. I don't know if they're my favourite animal, but they're definitely up there. What's everyone's favourite animal? I'm trying to think. Um, obviously dragon, but they're not real. Uh, um, and dogs, because dogs. Um, and big cats. I'm trying to think. Um... 
Mrs. Smith in class, does the maker starter kits come with tools? Um, yes, certainly the subscription box is your first subscription box. You get all the tools and I believe the beginner's boxes do indeed, yes. Um, Diana, yeah, chimps use tools but they only carry them by hand, yep. And there's a group of monkeys, it's not tools, but I love it, there's a group of monkeys somewhere, I think it's in Tibet, I might be lying, and they've been able to live longer than other monkeys because they discovered hot springs and so the old monkeys go and soak in the hot springs to ease their aching joints and there's, there's famous pictures, all the ground's covered in snow with the little monkey, is it a macaque? I th macaque? I think, but all the snow around and she's just sitting sitting in her hot spring bath, <laughs> um, easing her aching joints. It's quite adorable. Um, Steffi, seahorses have pockets. Uh, seahorses are pretty amazing. Yep, absolutely. The, the dads carry the young and give birth in seahorses, which is, is pretty cool. <laughs> Erica, my favourite animal is a uh, okapi. Do they even say that right? I should know what it's. The okapi, the fish, the walking fish. Am I wrong there? Um, and yet, yeah, Steffi, the starter boxes come with the photos and making compostable felting mats to be kind to the earth. Yep, the earth kind mats are awesome. Um, I still haven't found where I put mine because I'm an idiot, but yeah. <laughs> Wendy saying, Pam, you and I have similar taste in animals, so I'd like to add horses and donkeys. I will, actually, when I was going through the list, horses were coming into my head as well. Um, but they, they didn't quite make the top five, but I do. horses are cool too. Um, don't, I haven't had much dealings with donkeys. Um... Oh, Cara, Wendy's popped the Santa picture into my group and you've just added my hat and otters. Oh, cool. I'll have to go and have a look and then see if I can share. Um, oh, kiss my stained glass. Oh, it's to go shopping tonight and give this craft a go. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Oh, you will totally have to share what you make. I look forward to seeing that. Um, cool. <laughs> well, you, you can see... Oh, I've made some uneven legs, but still, it's cute. It's all cute. Right, I'm going to just check on the Facebook and see if I can see and then see if I can share without things going crazy. Because it should be fun. Um, oh, has anyone tried the new Facebook? Isn't it awful? Um, even find my blooming group <laughs> how can I lose my group bear with me <laughs> Facebook is going super slow uh. I haven't even got an announcement that you've added stuff to the group. I should have got that. Why is it not showing me? Oh, finally! I'm searching for my own group and it's not showing me it. That's super annoying. But I think we finally got it. Oh wow! Do you know, guys, we have got 760 members in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. I did not know that. That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Right. So. Yeah. Facebook's still going slow. Right. Is this going to work? I think it is. So here we have Carol's <laughs> otters. They are adorable. Uh, and there's all the rocks and the sea and everything as well. And there's some lying down. That is super cute. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, I'll go back to 
here and then get the next pictures because I just want to make sure because we're a private group I only want to show things that you actually allow <laughs> and we have this is great <laughs> and we have Carol's bat as well look at him that is awesome and you made the wings so far. that's like lace at the wings there I love that he is so cute <laughs> And yeah, I did. I had way too much fun with the poseableness of those wings. It is fun. They can wrap right round and do a bat fink and everything. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing. Um, oh, that, hang on. That, silly me. <laughs> you did wrap. <laughs> that is so much fun. Yes, I, I adore the the way the wing armature works there it is a whole bunch of fun oh hey right i'm missing excuse me <laughs> if i'm not making you guys ill jumping backwards and forwards here um but here he is hanging upside down i tried to make the armature for the paws to build to work as well it's quite fiddly to do but that is so cute <laughs> brilliant that is so yeah i had a whole lot of fun doing a photo shoot from my bat as well <laughs> they are too much fun and oh wendy goodness me hey hold on you guys are gonna love this too um and this is wendy santa he <laughs> oh he's brilliant i do love the glasses his little glasses just make him as well but yeah he is adorable <laughs> oh great job everyone thank you so much for sharing that is fun <laughs> Wendy you love watching the makers videos absolutely yes me too <laughs> um, kiss my stained glass when I say shopping I'll buy from the makers <laughs> yeah um, oh, I'm doing so much buying online just now it's not it's not even funny and not only that it's clothes too what do i need clothes for i'm not going anywhere well i need clothes obviously but yeah buying nice clothes just about to sit and talk to you guys speaking of yay my you guys haven't seen this top let's go i this just made it look, looks all kind of nice and cute and it's got a bit of lace and then no it's ready for halloween yay it's a skull <laughs> am i a big child absolutely yeah oh steffi yep you're struggling with facebook on your laptop too was going to share the everyone's maker group link but i can't work out how to do it oh yeah guys so search on facebook for everyone's a maker everyone a maker and you should find the makers group yeah um Oh, did, did you paste something else as well, Steffi? Hang on. Might have to refresh the page. Right, going to have a look. Oh, refreshing, and then it takes 20 minutes to refresh the page. That might be an over-exaggeration. Oh, wait, right, 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 right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking and you can't see because... Okay, so... This is the Okapi. That's, oh, right. I want to felt one of them because that just looks like so much fun. There's so much going on. It's It's got the ears of some kind of wild dog. The face is all its own. That's a special face. The bum of a zebra. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep. I understand. Love it. <laughs> And I'm not even going to show the right thing. Here we go. And oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Um, oh, for goodness sake! <clears throat> Excuse me a moment while I find the screen I was on again. That one. Okay. <laughs> 
Steffi, sorry, I'm I'm a professional YouTuber. It only take fourteen clicks to get the right thing there. <laughs> Our new Santa kit. How cute is he? I absolutely love him. And his little sack is adorable. <laughs> love it. There you go. So, so everyone check out the Santa kit. Um, because we we should hopefully be doing our own little version of that <laughs> at some point. Um. Oh, Carol, the wing material is wet felted. Good idea. Much more sensible than what I did. Uh, <laughs> I I literally. Oh, did I felt? I'm trying to remember. I've done some where I felted it. I can't remember if I used pre felt for the wings, but that's that's another tip if you're doing wings. Some of the dragon wings I've done pre felt totally makes it so much easier. Um. But yeah, wet felting is cool too. I just make so much of a mess with wet felting. But yeah, it can give that lovely lacy effect. You can get it really fine. Um, yeah, Nunu. There's a thing, Nunu felting, if anyone's done it. It's a wet felting, but where you're using a, a piece of material to kind of stabilise it. So you can do a really fine felt, which is beautiful as well. That might do for some some things. That could be fun. Uh, wood fun fanatic woods fanatic i think i've got it uh you just signed onto the maker's site cool um arena cute santa it is isn't it <laughs> oh stop 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 jumping um <laughs> wendy no thank you for sharing i love seeing you guys's work um g morgan's ginger isn't it i have to keep remembering that um, you found a use for needle felting this week, repairing a dream catcher, roving decorations that had been shredded. The needle stabbed the ripped end back into place. Win. Awesome. Yeah, there's a whole lot of fun, simple things you can do with needle felting to, to fix anything kind of woolen. I do. The, there's lots of things where a normal person would probably sew and I just kind of felt things together because... I've got the <laughs> I've got the needle there and I just go for it. Um Irina cute top. Thank you so much. I've just been having too much fun buying too much stuff. Uh the makers <clears throat> you get the Santa second all but not listed yet is only going live on the second of October. Oh, teaser everybody. Yay. <laughs> um Erica, bye you all. Have to feed the calves till next time. Good to see you. Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun, guys. And wow, while we've been talking nonsense, I think this it is so dark in here. What, can I can I let a bit of light in? Is that better? That's better. It's not better on my face, but we don't care about that. Okay. Um. Oh, I did forget to do the... Where's my darkest wool? I don't know, but <laughs> I've, got, I've got another brown sitting here, so we'll use that. So I want to make a little nose. Um, it's kind of cute. I'm hoping this all comes together well. Yeah, I'm is a problem when I'm talking and felting I'm not reading very well so guys you're never getting a full tutorial from me for the makers because I'm not paying attention to everything um now hmm, I really like how he looks just with a little bit of fleece here that looks like he's got his eyes shut but he's also adorable with his eyes open what do you think guys shut eyes or open so is she not entirely sure where she's put the <laughs> where she's put the pack of eyes? So we might have to go with shut eyes because Pam's an idiot and has lost the <laughs> lost the eyes till till I tidy up this room. I'm sure I'm not the only felter that or crafter that has stuff hidden about <laughs> slightly messy craft rooms. 
I do have other, yeah, I've got other eyes here. So guys, if you want the little round eyes added, I can do that or we can have sleepy eyes. Because he is sleeping, very cozy and up to his mum. I think the makers did a cuter, a cuter little guy than <laughs> mine, but that's been fun to make. And it's still, is he gonna? It still works. <laughs> um, Diana, open, or is that the wrong answer? Not at all. I, that's why I asked. Um, let's see if I've got other. What other eyes I've got here? Excuse me a moment. Okay. We do have little brown eyes. It's not quite the same, but I'm an idiot. I think we all we all appreciate that fact. Um, that's a good needle for it. So, yeah, if if I ask, then it's it's the right answer. Is whatever you feel the answer should that you want. So, stitchy eyes. Oh, there you go. That is cute. <laughs> and this is quite a stabby needle. That's why it's taking all the eye fur kind of into the head a little bit, but it's working. Diana, I think you were right. Um, can you guys even see that? Yes, I think we close the the open eyes are right. <laughs> so thank you for your help. Um oh thank you, Steffi. You ought to look super cute with open or closed eyes. <laughs> thank you. Um I think the eyes do help quite a bit. He's just got a softer body than I would normally do. But there we go. To figure out the best way to have him cuddling. I think yeah. there. And we've got the otter, baby and mama. Let's see, can I full screen? Oh, not that one. That one. <laughs> so the otter oh, can we right, I can put the lights up now. So we have Hate my hate my face. <laughs> we have Otter, baby, and Mama. Um, do also in the kit, as I kind of alluded to with making the stone, we have an absolute heaping pile of this gorgeous wool. Which I'm oh it smells so good. I have a problem. I'm going to save for other projects, but that's to make the pebbles and some lovely blue to make the water, so you can make a whole diorama. And there's enough wool as well to make a second otter. So you've got mama and papa and baby and um, rocks and some water. So there's a whole load. <laughs> there's a whole load in there. And it's kind of really fun to have. Whoops. <laughs> the little baby's running away. It's fun to have the parents and the little baby. Um, definitely. I will I'll show you. So the whole of the kit, you should have, ooh, give it out of the light, you should have enough to make this, which is really cool. The, I love the rocks and the water with the little bits of, of grey in it as well, and the little three of a family. Oh, there we go, light's coming back. So that was cool. Um, Again, if anyone's made these, feel, feel free to share them. But yes, that's my guys. We shall find a little home for them. I don't know if you guys can actually, yeah, you can see down there, they are, my sleepy fox is curled up and sleeping with an otter mom and baby <laughs> cuddled up with him. There we go. Um, um, thank you guys. Oh, saying super cute. Thank you. Um, 
yeah, fun project. I was quite, ooh, what am I doing here? I was quite distracted quite a bit, so I could have worked on the shaping a little bit more, but kit, super easy to follow. What we've done, it was an hour for the mama, an hour for the baby, so three, four hours, maybe set aside set aside maybe five an, an hour an evening for a week and then you'll have the gorgeous little diorama um wendy did you get those eyes on amazon i bought clear whoops chat skipping i bought book clear ones and aren't impressed with them they aren't the same size uh yes i did um these are like my emergency eyes i've bought clear brown and black obviously the black's always the same size these you have to pick about in them there's i mean there's a couple of hundred eyes in here so i just mix and match and pick about they're not the best quality but they do in a pinch um i believe the makers have i don't believe i know the makers have eyes and they're awesome um also if you didn't see the wonderful people it's in if you're in america or if you don't mind waiting for the shipping glass eyes online are fantastic and are lovely people i did an interview with them about a year and a half ago absolutely lovely people and their eyes have i don't know where it is but they have these uh, glitter confetti eyes that say it's like green but it has sparks of confetti of different colours and they are awesome and they're kind of iridescent so yeah so you can get lots of different eyes from lots of different places but the Amazon ones are just my emergency eyes <laughs> whenever and out but yeah they're not they're not the best um Steffi thank you so much Wendy they're so cute thank you um and yet, Wendy, the makers do sell lots of different eyes. And I did, um, the, the mama's eyes were in the box. I just put the little package that they give us in a really safe place. Because um, they give us little little packets like this. This is some whiskers. They give us cute little packets. And I put them aside somewhere nice and safe. So, <laughs> y'all know. I don't know where that is now. Um... Candy, thank you so much. They are adorable. It's a very cute kit. Um, Diana, Maker's Eyes are fab. Absolutely. Um, Candy, saying to Wendy, sometimes I use black thumbtacks or little nails while waiting for eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, love, love you. Love from Arkansas, USA. Thank you so much. Right, guys, I think that's us done. Oh, that's pretty awesome. We got through a cool project there. Um thank you for joining me i'll give you a couple of minutes to any other questions and to say goodbye to everybody but thank you so much for hanging out this has been a ton of fun um yeah <laughs> don't know what else to say this, this has been good i've got a nice project made my shelves behind are getting really full up i'm gonna have to get somewhere else to put things <laughs> But this is cool because it gives me a chance, it gives everyone a chance to make projects that they wouldn't have thought of or put aside the time to make. Because I'm super busy with so many other stuffs and with Christmas coming. And guys, I will talk about this more in videos and stuff. If you're selling online or you're thinking of selling online, just na just get in there just now you know your shop hasn't doesn't your online shop doesn't have to be perfect but get it up just now because this is slightly ahead of the rush there's no guarantee you'll have a super busy christmas but if you don't start just now you won't <laughs> um you've got to get in ahead of everybody else and christmas can be amazing people do really like needle felted stuff as gifts um but lots of other handmade things and i I predict this is going to be a big year for handmade gifts. Um, we're talking, at the minute in time, people don't even know if they're going to be able to be with their families for Christmas. A few of my friends that were sending their kids away to uni are worried because they don't, don't know if by Christmas time if the kids will be told to stay in uni or if they're going to be allowed to come home. So yeah, it's going to be a different year. Um, so thoughtful handmade gifts that you can send to the right person you know little care packages crafty kits 
now now is the time um and it helps it helps people get something nice and it you know it helps support your small business so yay uh kiss my stained glass uh, thank you look forward to my kit i look forward to hearing how you get on that's cool i always love hearing new people start um I don't know, did I tell you guys this? Um I met met somebody in in the supermarket. I got I got fanned. <laughs> I, don't know. I got stopped in the supermarket and I was in my mask and everything and this person just comes up and she goes, Are you Pamela Duffy? And you know you're kinda like, Is it the bailiffs? What have I done wrong? That's a, who, who's my kid here? I don't have a kid, but you're still going, has my kid misbehaved at school? Has has my dog done something? What have I done wrong? <laughs> and she was like, I started needle felting because of you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was so nice. But yeah, immediately someone comes up and it's immediately like, what did I do? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> um... Oh, cool. Um, Steffi saying, watch out for a penguin tutorial on Tuesday at 1pm on the Makers channel. Yeah, everyone subscribe to the Makers and go and see that. That'll be so much fun. I love felting penguins. Penguins are the cutest things and it's nice, easy. I haven't seen how the Makers do it, but I know they do everything far easier than me. I make things more complicated than I need to, so I know they're their tutorial will be super easy <laughs> you know super easy for every level so follow along one o'clock uk time on tuesday and the makers channel i will try and jump in i tend to kind of catch a little bit of it but i'm usually working then as well so i'll catch what i can okay kiss my stained glass goodbye julia that's so cool <laughs> thank you so much right guys i will catch you next time have an awesome week Bye-bye.